All right, so let's talk about the planes of the anterior teeth. Now, all we really need to worry about is the canines because you can only have planes if you have ridges. Let's talk about it. So the cuspid only has one cusp. So let's look at it from your point of view. This is the mandibular canine. It only has one cusp. Every cusp has four ridges. So if we look at it from the overhead view, we can look at it like this. Let's use our compass. So if we're referring to this canine, basically this is the distal side, this is the mesial side. So whenever we're looking at the ridges, we're using this compass. Now, what about the planes? Check this out. What I highlighted was one of the sides of this ridge. All right, so you see that I shaded in one of the quadrants of this cusp. Again, each of these four is a ridge, each of these spokes. Now, in between is going to be a plane. If we think of this as a 3D structure, we pull it out, it's going to have a point, and I shaded in one of the sides. This side, we're still going to refer to with the directional terms, and we're going to use two directional terms because we're shading in between the ridges, okay? So for what's shaded in, we're looking at disto, because we always start with the proximal, and then lingual. So this would be the distolingual plane of the cusp, because the cusp, it only has one cusp. Now, what about this one? This would be the backside of this pyramid. Now, again, we can use our compass. This is the labial. This is the mesio. So this would be the mesiolabial plane of the cusp, because the canine only has one cusp, so you don't have to refer to which cusp. So as a last note, just remember what the plane is facing towards. Use your directional terms, use your compass, and it's just the space in between the ridges. This is Chaser Bordy with the game plan for your academics. I'll see you guys in the next one.